A week's long Juneteenth celebration concluded today with a freedom rally and street art at Spirit Plaza. CW 50's April Morton was there for the historic event. Lift every voice and sing. The National Black Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, commenced the second annual City of Detroit Juneteenth celebration. Hundreds gathered at this freedom rally commemorating and reflecting on June 19, 1865, when the last slaves were freed in the U.S. We are actually celebrating black culture and black life because there's much to celebrate, but there is much work to do. And now we have the attention of the world. Charity Dean was one of a handful of speakers at the event that honored black ancestors for the horrendous persecution they endured for centuries. Given the current climate of racial unrest in the country, many still believe that we have a ways to go in the fight against injustice. I think it's a way to show that we are tired and we want it to stop. I think in the modern era, Juneteenth should be a day in which we we practice unity. Like obviously that's something that's been lacking in our communities for a long time. And history was made today when students from Detroit unveiled this powerful Power to the People mural that sits right on Woodward. The mural was created by renowned artist Herbert Massey and painted by Detroit youth from DPS Community District and Detroit Hills, Detroit. Knowing that I did something as huge as this, it just makes me so happy. 20 years later, or even 30 years later, I can look back and see that I did that. In Detroit, April Morton, CW50, News at 10.